Hi, Phil at B-Man here. Uh, we're on step two of setting up our splits. So, despite the dire predictions from the comment section, uh, none of these fell down. And so now what we have is we've, we're taking the honey off the hives, putting it on the truck, and then we are going to uh, knock off the extra bees off the bee escape. And you'll see what we have here is that frame with the brood and the dark comb is set up to be a new hive. It's sitting right on top here. And the bees from, you know, have equalized out their population so that I have my two empty honey supers underneath. When I take this box away in a day or two, uh, this hive will just continue on its merry way and I'll have this kind of nice proportionally uh, populated single box that will brood up a bit. I have found uh, a location to put these where they're going to get some flow. Um, and so hopefully they, I don't think they'll make honey, but I think they'll populate this box if we get, you know, four or five frames of brood by the uh, middle of August. Uh, that new queen when she gets in there she's just going to go to town as long as there's a little bit of a flow and uh, it'll make uh, a real nice smaller hive it'll come out of winter just raring to go and uh, so my experience is that these hives uh, will do well for me next year so I have the hives that aren't being split I don't know if I have one hand come down here Dave here's one a couple. We re when we were going through these we found some that weren't quite up to strength and so they don't have this extra box so this one will be sitting here uh, one level down so when I come in the evening to skim off it's that fourth box they're all the ones that are set to brood if it doesn't have if it only has three then I will leave it alone on that day so we can go through here and pull those slits uh, quite simply why don't I load a few boxes here Everyone's worried about these hives sliding apart on me. The truth is that propolis is so sticky sometimes you lift the whole stack right off the bottom board with the lift. Grab a couple more stacks. load the far side of the truck we have a, uh, someone up on the truck we just pass the boom back and forth it's a bit like playing Tetris where you want to have your pallets loaded evenly so you want you know combinations of numbers of boxes that add up to your total height and uh, that's all there is to it if you see a hive like this where there's quite a collection of bees on the wrong side of the bee escape then you want to go through your uh, boxes and check and you can see this one here that's the one off of that hive uh, they just didn't quite completely evacuate that 
that hive. You know, most of the bees are gone, but not 100%. So we're just going to touch that up with the blower and knock the rest of those bees out. So that's something to watch for if you're using bee escapes. It's not 100%. I've thought about marking the hives to see if I could breed out that reluctance to go down over time. Uh, that's an, an unfulfilled project at this point. Uh, I don't know if that would work or not. I don't know if it's the... We had some trouble with the bee escapes last week when it was all smoky all the time. And they do go down better if there's a really strong honey flow, which we don't have. Um, so you kind of, it's not perfect, but uh, this system of not having to lift too many boxes and only needing to blow a few boxes, it, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, that's it for today. We'll do a video uh, when I come back to grab these splits. Uh, I'll do a, a video on that third and, and final process as well. Thank you everyone, have a great day.